This weekend was the busiest air travel has been since the pandemic began. According to the TSA, more than 400,000 people were screened on Friday and Sunday through Sunday. The TSA says it's the first time that's happened in nearly 11 weeks. So with the national numbers increasing, what's the status of air travel here in Acadiana? Scott Brazda has more from Lafayette Regional Airport, where he says the numbers are slowly taking flight. Back in February, a total of nearly 37,000 people got on and off of airplanes here at the Lafayette Regional Airport. Now, that number dropped by nearly 90% in the month of May, so that is the bad news. The good news is that May number was up by 12% from the month of April, which Airport Director Stephen Piku hopes is a sign that long-term recovery in that sector is on its way. The airlines are still in a reduced schedule. However, the, many of them have, in, have indicated they, in July they will be increasing the number of flights. In recent days, national airlines, particularly Delta, announced the further reduction of services to various cities. But Piku says the Lafayette market's profitability has provided a level of protection. So the, just recently, Delta Airlines announced that they were stopping service to 11 of their airports throughout the nation. We are not on that list. And there's more good news. Prior to the coming of COVID-19, the biggest complaint from Lafayette passengers was the long TSA checkpoint line enjoyed each and every morning. Well, guess what? In, uh, in a few days, actually June 16th, the TSA is moving to open up that second line at the TSA checkpoint. One more thing providing a bit of optimism, the new $75 million airport terminal. Things, say Piku, are progressing quite well. But we're on, on schedule right now and as of now on budget. And progress being made on that new terminal, the ETA, the arrival of that terminal, fall of 2021. At the Lafayette Regional Airport, Scott Brasnick, KATC TV3.